These here are my charcoal shingles because that 612 pitch roof keeps it like this for them. They're able to just fly around up there. My tripod freaking broke, y'all. Literally, look at that. And I'm trying to bring y'all the best content, so I gotta order another tripod. What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another episode with Nico's Property Show. Thank you so much for watching to this point. I got a huge stack of material sitting behind me. These here are my charcoal shingles that I have ordered. I got everything that I need. I got my synthetic felt paper that they're actually putting up there. I mean, heck, zoom in on one of the guys banging up there. We got button cap nails. This thing is getting covered up. So guess what? That means we're gonna stay out of the rain. It's been really good weather. I've been really blessed to be able to receive really good weather here. It is calling for a little bit of rain while these videos are going through, but we have sneaked in and out of that situation. But now that we're getting covered up, we're gonna be perfectly fine. Not a problem, but come over here real quick. I wanna show you, just so you see exactly like what this looks like. This is 35 squares right here. So we got everything. We got this right here, the ridge vents. Check that out. That's going up there too. We got this right here. This is beautiful, man. We've got what we need. They're up there working hard. My roofers are excited. You wanna know why? Cause that 612 pitch roof keeps it like this for them. They're able to just fly around up there. They don't have to feel scared. You're not, I mean, seriously, I'm about to go up there to be honest with you. It's nothing, okay? This is a very nice roof to work on, but we're gonna get some of this progress. I'm really excited for this house to be at this point because now I feel comfortable. I feel like, hey, I can be here. People can work inside. It's not gonna get rain all up in my floor system. It's not gonna get all damp and everything like that. But let's see if we can kind of, matter of fact, show them the van though. Look how clean they came in with the van though. They pulled up, they got all the ladders, they got everything. Let's give them that view of that man just up there flying around, honestly. I mean, he's chilling. Like there's no fear right now because guess what? It's not too steep. If you got a super steep roof, if you're doing this, of course I get it. But right now we're on a 612 pitch. We're good. I'm about to go up there, show you all around. We're going to get some progress. Let's move. All right, y'all, so I'm up on my roof. Literally, you can see, not scary. I can do sprints up here, so. All right, y'all, so enough with my exercising up here. Almost broke the microphone and everything, all right? A couple hundred bucks right there. They're absolutely killing it. Check them out. Everybody's banging away right now, literally knocking it out. I'm excited. I can't wait for Mr. Cameraman to come up here with me. We're gonna get some awesome shots. They're putting on that synthetic felt paper right now. This is the more expensive stuff. Sometimes people put this real cheap paper up there. I'm not a big fan of it. So I got the synthetic paper. Um, it works well, you know, it keeps the water out and then the shingles go on top of that. Uh, we got some smooth ice and water shield right there going through that valley. Um, and it's just gonna be a really nice roof. We're gonna get protected from the rain, from, you know, all kinds of different stuff coming from the sky. You never know, it's 2021, anything can fall from the sky nowadays. Asteroids, space shuttles, everything else in between. But Mr. Cameraman, why don't you make your way up this ladder? We're gonna get some awesome dope shots up here and we're just gonna get to work. Okay, y'all, so we're here on the roof. Mr. Cameraman finally made it up. We're gonna keep calling him Mr. Cameraman until we do a, re a face reveal. That's what we'll call it. Um, but we got the synthetic felt paper right here. So you can kind of see, um, it kind of has that synthetic feel on this side, and then it's plasticky on this side. So these are the button caps that go into it. So as you see right there, they actually have these uh, hammers that are magnetic on one side and they're going in on the side and then bam, and they're just knocking it right in. So it's a really cool process to watch. Um, I hope you all are enjoying the process so far. I can't wait to get up in the sky with the drone because watching this unravel will be crazy. And then once they're knocking all those shingles out, which are charcoal and are gonna just be bon appetit looking on this roof um it's gonna be amazing i'm so excited about the process of this build so far um I, i'm grateful for each and every one of you literally because without y'all it wouldn't be so fun being up on this roof literally every single day so i appreciate y'all for making this process that much more fun let's get back to work let me stop talking so much man let's progress
we're good. I'm still afraid of heights, I promise. Goodness gracious. My tripod freaking broke, y'all. Literally, look at that. And I'm trying to bring y'all the best content. So I got to order another tripod. Jeez. Okay, y'all. So they got this little elevator shaft. So it's just a lift for the shingles. Back when I have done some roofing uh, with my brother-in-law, who used to have a uh, actual roofing company where he did this all the time, we used to carry these thing, man. We'd have two, three on our freaking shoulders getting up there. Then you throw it to the next guy. Then this thing came out. And dude, this is like a blessing to anybody that does roofing. Watch this. Easy, easy. Look at that. Easy as one, two, and three. Literally, he goes one, two, and the guy picks it up three. Let me give you another one. Watch this, man. Look at this. Okay, folks, so they are loading all those shingles on the roof for when they come back to knock that out. Should be about a day job to get that done. Um, they came over just to get me covered up with that synthetic felt paper. Really appreciative of that because now my plumbers can come in, they can rough in, they can do all this good stuff. We got a few small things happening in between, things that might have been missed or I didn't catch it and I just, you know, got to do it right before something else is coming. So I really appreciate y'all watching to this point of the videos and the progress of the house getting built. So I'll see you on the next day when they're getting started on the shingles. That's going to be an awesome progress. So make sure you stay tuned to that. See you tomorrow. Well, top of the morning to you folks. I am out here with the roofers and unfortunately there was a situation where I didn't even know they were coming. I thought they were coming a few days later and then I show up to my house and half of my roof is done. So you're about to see half of the progress done and then half of it getting done. So I do apologize about that. did not even know they were going to be here, but they are absolutely killing it. It's a little bit wet up there and I'm like, yo, please be careful. They're absolutely wild. They don't give a crap. Man, they just fly around, so the paper's a little bit wet up there. Um, I'm gonna get up there, show y'all some progress, give y'all some time lapse to show you how it all gets done, and I'm gonna show you what they're actually doing right now. So let me get up on the roof with them, um, and of course, we're gonna be careful.
to reiterate what happened here, the crew showed up without me knowing. Uh, it was a different crew that did the paper. So I'm like, okay, boom. First of all, I was shocked. My mind was like, okay, I didn't get that front footage of the house, but I got all the back stuff. So I'm glad that y'all were able to see the progress of all that. They've literally only worked on this for about six or five and a half hours to this point, And they got the entire roof knocked out with shingles. Right now they're putting on the Omni roll, which is for the ridge vent. And I'm gonna show you how all that works with like putting the little starter pieces on top of that to make it look all very uniform and very nice as a shingled roof. So head on the roof with me. I wanna explain some things. This is really cool. This process covers me up. I'm out of the rain for good now once they're done with this job. So let's head that way. Alrighty y'all, so I'm here on the roof and as you can see, check this out. I mean, this is beautiful and I told y'all, I got this charcoal, okay? Um, and I got the darkest one they had because with my black exterior finishes with the windows, uh, with my gutters and everything, and then my hardy siding, the color that I'm choosing is gonna really complement this uh, charcoal roof and all the shingles and everything like that. So I wanna explain what's going on. You might look down here and be like, yo, you know, I see a hole, what's going on here? So right here, they're actually putting something called Omni Roll and it's in that box right there. If you can just zoom in on that. So it's about a 30 foot ridge vent. And what that does is it creates this like little, I don't even know what you call it, a crest or something like that. So I'll show you right here. And this is what it looks like. Mr. Cameron, be careful, do not go backwards. So this is it, okay? So it allows it to breathe. So if there's any hot air inside the attic or anything like that, it allows that air to escape out of here, come out the sides, but then they put these starter pieces all the way down and it covers it up so water never gets inside of your actual roof. So you're not gonna get moisture in there or anything like that. But what will happen is the air has a place to escape. That's why it's called a ridge vent because you gotta have vents for air to escape out of your house. This guy right here is absolutely killing it. He's knocking out all the pieces. Um, and I am extremely excited with what's happening up here. I can't wait to give y'all like a super aerial view with the drone because this entire roof system just looks beautiful. I'm so happy with the progress of this house. All the subs that are coming out here are working extremely hard. They're killing it. And we're just gonna get you some more footage of how he's actually applying this uh, Omni Roll for the ridge vent. And then we're gonna knock that out and then we're gonna get up in the sky. So let's get straight to work. Let's get more progress. My man's right here is putting on what you call a drip edge. So as you can see, it's right off the edge of that soffit area where you're gonna see like the soffit's gonna be going in and I'm gonna be using a hardy soffit. Um, so it's gonna be about a three quarter, um, yeah, it's gonna be about a three quarter uh, hardy siding that goes on there right there. So that's gonna actually butt up underneath that drip edge. So once it's raining, you'll see the shingles go down and then the drip edge doesn't let the water roll back in. It actually makes it go off of the side of the house. So if you can just zoom in on my man up there, working extremely hard installing that, it's gonna go around and it goes around the entire roof. Um, right here, they didn't see it when I had it in the garage, so they didn't apply it yet, which is unfortunate because after you already put the shingles on, having to put that drip edge in is kind of annoying, but they didn't see it in the garage when they started working. I didn't even know they were gonna be here. So regardless, they're doing a great job. They're gonna get all that installed, but I'm gonna take you up on the roof now. So let's go.
All right, y'all, so I hope you've enjoyed all this progress of the shingles going on. So like I told y'all earlier, the guys are doing an awesome job. All those shingles are done, and this entire job only took them, I think, seven hours total, maybe eight once they get done cleaning up. So this is like a seven to eight hour job for this entire roof. But I told y'all earlier, it's only a 612 pitch. So they're up there, he even said earlier, he was like, you could come and dancing up here. So. <laughs> It was like you can come have a dance party up on this roof because the pitch isn't steep so everything is good for them um anybody who's worked up there is just like dude this is so freaking easy but regardless got a lot of stuff done a lot more coming up because now that we're covered up guess what plumbing's coming in then we're gonna do hvac then we're gonna do electrical then we're gonna do insulation so much to look forward to but it's so fun because y'all are watching this progress happen with me. So I do appreciate every single one of you. But regardless, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you like and subscribe. And make sure you follow me on all social platforms, but especially TikTok because it's so easy to post on there. If you haven't yet, check out nicospropertyshow.com. Grab you some merch, a hat, a crew neck, a hoodie, a t-shirt, and use code NICO in all caps for 10% off your next order. So without further ado, I appreciate you. Have a blessed day. Smile more, stress less, and just be awesome. So I'll see you in the next video. Peace out.